Hello. <laughs> oh, he's going to sit there, I think. I'm going to have him sitting there, look. With his legs, legs wide open. Ready for action, I think. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we clickly look at various art books and magazines. Last week we looked at this book, this magazine book thing called Fantasy Art Volume 1. It was brilliant. I really like that one. Look, he's a, he likes the little titties as well. <laughs> I'm going to be let's be honest here. T titties are beautiful shapes, aren't they? There's something very beautiful about the shape of titties. It's almost like just a natural beautiful shape. I wonder why that is. But let's get into this one. This video here, little Peter the Penguin's with us. <laughs> and he's going to be helping us with this one. It's volume 2. It's the sequel to the first one. I'm not sure if there was any more after this. Oh, look at this, look. Look how beautiful some of the work is in here. The first one, was, what I loved about the first one was you had a nice mix between like characters, environments. Yeah, there was, a lot, there was a nice mix between lots of different things. So hopefully, well, I love my characters. I'd love it if it was all characters. But I, I also liked seeing the, the other things. But little Peter's going to let us in. Doing, And this one also comes with a DVD or CD. So what we'll do is we'll, put the, we'll go through the magazine for the first time. And then what we'll do is we'll have a look at the DVD, the CD as well. This was made in 2011. 2011. I think it's made by the same people who do... I'm not sure about that. I was going to say the Imagine FX people. I think, I think, I think it is. I'm not sure. It's, it's certainly beautiful though. Oh, they've done the same thing again. I love it. Look, characters, concepts and galleries. This time we've got gallery, cheat guide, tutorials and features and then interviews as well. It's going to be brilliant, I think. I love that one. I love that one as well. I love, I love, I love art. It's something about art, it makes me really excited. Especially beautiful stuff like this, look. How bleeding beautiful is this? I'd love to live in that world. I'd love to wear that dress as well. <laughs> It'd be quite cool. She looks nice as well. Lovely colours. Oh, look. Yeah, we've got the same thing again, which is just a wide sort of spectrum of different types of art you can sort of tell already how brilliant this is i think <laughs> they're little pandas they're quite funny though hey yeah, that looks a bit like um oh i can't remember there's a video game like that it's like 2d characters sort of thing because he looks a bit sort of 2d like he's made a paper or something <laughs> it's quite funny Painting realistic portraits. Right there, she looks a little bit like the girl off of um, what do you call her? What's that game? Heavy Heavenly Sword. She looks a bit like Heavenly Sword there. She doesn't hear. I actually prefer the sketch. I think. Yeah, I think I do. I think. I think what it is is there's no hair, and then there's some hair up there. Maybe that's it, I don't know. Oh, this was something else that was cool as well. The way they set out the features, the articles, it was really, well, in in depth. But really, like, sort of, well, for me, it was quite exciting. Seeing all the different things. I love this one. Add ele elements with pattern pens. Lovely colours. Sort of like um, dreamy, that one. I think it's cool. Look, that must be sort. I reckon that's sort of that. <laughs> it's cool. Look at this. Look, unbelievable. I love this. Reminds me a little bit of Sergio Lopez. One of my inspirational artists is called Sergio Lopez. 
reminds me a little bit of that the way that the character is sort of mixed with the textures of the flowers creating great depth in your illustrations I like that I love the sort of so shaded in it <laughs> so shaded in this cool oh, I love that style that little cheat guide steampunk fashion I wonder what this is Sandra Chung idea contributes to Hustler and Heavy Metal so she's the perfect person to demonstrate some sexy steampunk styles oh look at this look Interview with Mario Ribby, Ribby Sono. How amazing is this look? That's beautiful, that is. Oh, look at the colours on that dress. The pink and, oh, that, that's like just, to me that's perfection, that. I love it when you see a colour combination that makes you... Oh, even the gold with the with the like the green. Yeah, even the gold with the pink. Perfect colours in that. Oh, I, I love that. This one here, what's it called? Mir Miramoto Chart K. Got a little interview as well. This will be fun. Oh, I've seen this. I got this. This was in one of the exotic magazines. Yeah, look. It was used on the cover of Exotic Number no. Four, which is a series of books by Ballistic Publishing. I've actually got one of those. I wanted that one, but it's really expensive. Those books are very expensive. This artist is going to be one of my inspirational artists. I can tell. This is amazing, Mario Ribisono. This is this is my sort of art. This is, yeah. This is my sort of art. Sexy, but there's a little bit of sort of um, I would almost call it sort of ooh, I was gonna say sort of sadness, sincereness, I suppose. Sexy and sincere, <laughs> that's quite cool. Fantasy painting, look the shape of that. Got a little bird there as well. Look, the bird is going in the same, it's almost like the, the bird, the, it's almost like the lady or the fairy is following the bird so like there's a connection there between these two little creatures which is cool oh i love that that was on um i'm sure i've seen that on the uh, what do you call it well i know it's on the cover <laughs> i think i've seen that in an exotic magazine as well what was in one of the ballistic publishings I love that one. What's he called? Bryn Martin P. Solar. Some beautiful artists in this one, I tell you. But this is what I love is what you can do is you can go and find these artists, and because this magazine is like nine years old, they've probably created loads of more stuff. So you can have even more beautiful stuff to look at. This is why I think it's worth getting old magazines. Because they might be old, but the artwork is if the artwork is beautiful, it's always going to be beautiful. It doesn't matter how old it is. Look at this as well, look. It's just so lovely. <laughs> oh I love it. Look, she had her eyes shut there. Yeah, I think she looked better with her eyes open. Or did she? It's really nice there. I think she looks better with her eyes open there. I think that was a good decision. But little bits of references. <laughs> He's got a funny head in. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like it. He's quite funny though. He was on the cover, wasn't he? Yeah. He's a bit weird, isn't he? A bit, a bit weird. I feel a bit sorry for him there. Oh, I like this look. Magic and manga. Mangry. I'd say 60% manga. That's a bit like Madoka Magica to me. But I wouldn't say that is 100% manga. 
It's a very good day. That's nice. Oh, that's nice as well. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it, when you see stuff you like. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's quite cool. Look at that, manga history. Got loads of stuff in here. Electric effects. Like Tron. It's like they're taking a photo in their sort of fantasy lighting. That's nice, look. It's so cool. The thing that gets me is just how beautiful it looks right at the start. Like, if I could do that at the start, I'd be happy with that. This, this is quite cool. That's why I like seeing the process, because you... Oh, that's cool, look. I like that. Because you can tell it's her, but it's also unique. Yeah. I like they changed the air as well. But you can sort of see her in it, but... Yeah, look, look how in-depth these articles are. This is nice. Little cheat sheet. <laughs> cheat sheet on paint and skin. An interview with... How would you say that, look? Stij Stijapin Sij Sij <laughs> What's it? He's from Croatia. Stij Stijapan Sijik. Stijapan Sijik. This is a bit like um. What's it like? That thing, Dragon's Dogma. One of my all-time favourite video games, Dragon's Dogma. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, that's brilliant. I love that. Yeah, he looks, he looks nice, he does. Friendly. I bet he's been ostracised by from society. But if you got to know him, he's like a lovely little guy, I reckon. Friendly. He's probably quite powerful as well. People misunderestimate him, I think. A cheat guide on robots. <laughs> look at him, look. Pretty cut fantasy styling. That's a bit like something out of a storybook. I can imagine that in a children's book or something. Painting with palette knives. Yeah, that's got a nice feeling about it, like the textures. Does that mean you can get digital palette knives? That's quite cool. Here we go, look, concepts. Into our little concepts now. Oh, that's nice. Fishies. I like the fishies. That's quite impressive, that. I could imagine a collection of these, all different colours. You've got a blue one, then you could have like a red one, a green one. A red one would be fire. Yeah, and a green one would be earth. Like a, fair, like a tree or something. That'd be quite cool, I think. I like that. Oh, I love that. Nat Natiski Otani. Really like that. Create a concept character. She's got a lot of um, sassiness, I think. Quite sassy. Look at the different faces. <laughs> Look. They created loads of different faces. Yeah. Be lots of learning, lots to learn in this book, I think. A cheat guide on pencil work. Feng Zui design. Dragons. I like dragons. It's amazing, isn't it? Some of the some of the artwork you see. That's interesting. Stunning space scapes. Oh, what's the name of that Star Wars I'm watching? Yeah, I tried to say it before. Star Trek. It's hell of a good day. Star Trek on Netflix. Netflix series. Somebody at work said about it and I thought, oh, I love Battlestar Galactica. 
quite the feeling of that. The Art of Graphic Novels. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to read that one. <laughs> Look at that Spider-Man. The little, the little scarf on. It's quite funny, huh? Zombies. This would be fun to read. Oh, look at this. I love, I love looking at artists' little houses. Their little homes, like where they do their magic. It's cool. Master Macabre comic book art. <laughs> Macabre. I think they're different, these are. Steampunk concept car. That's great. I like that. A flying car. It's like a train. It's almost like a car and a train. A cheat guide for panel beating. Oh, I like that hat. Look at this look. Unique. If that isn't if that isn't traditional, that's amazing. Because to me that looks traditional with watercolours. Like ink and watercolour. I can't believe well it is look, it's it's in painter. So it's a computer one. That's unbelievable. That looks like um traditional to me. I like that. It's got the colours of Zelda link. Radical Publishing. Oh, look. Epic. That's a bit like Diablo. Makes me think of Diablo, that. Cool. I wonder if these have worked on video games. I bet they've worked on video games. Assassins. Hmm. Be interested to see what they've what they've worked on. Environments. I don't normally like environments, but the last magazine had some brilliant. Yeah, I'd like to. Li I'd like to live there. I would like to live there. Imagine the types of creatures in them um, in those forests. Oh, that's amazing. Look, she's pregnant. But you're sort of like, what is the, what is the object and what is the tree? It's, that's amazing. That is amazing. I love that. Paul Cartwright. I've heard of him. I love that. Fantasy landscapes. Yeah, see, I'm not really that... I'm not really into that. I'd like to play video games with those, but I wouldn't. I'm not that fussed about. I wouldn't be that interested in creating them. I don't think. A cheat guide on light. That's nice. But different types of lighting. Master game art. What cool character that is. I like her angle. Uh, of, oh, this is quite cool. You've got one, two, four, six, six different people. You've got Dan Scott, who's worked on Magic the Gathering. Richard Lee, who's worked on Duke Nukem. Stranglehold, I like that game. Dorothy Ballerina, who's worked on... What's she worked on here? Imagine Party Wedding Designer for Ninden. Nintendo DS. She works at Ubisoft. Eric Ryan, who works on Wise of the Argonauts and Dungeons and Dragons. Hey look, you got Owen Colgan, who works on Battlestar Galactica. Electronic Arts. You got a guy, what's he called? Robert Alexander, who works on Magic the Gathering. So you've got some very top named artists here. Medal of Honor, look. <laughs> Medal of Honor. Oh, that's nice. Look, that's beautiful. I would love to live there as well. 
magical. I suppose that is something that environments do. It makes you imagine. It's good for imagination, I think. Looking at these environments. Gets you thinking. Oh, I love this one. Professional light and colour. Yeah, look, look at that, look. Look how you've got like cool colours over here and then all the bright warm colours here. What a lovely dress that is. I love foxes. Oh, I like that a lot. It's really nice. The artist is called Amy Stewart. Little foxy it is. <laughs> Little foxy. Foxy fox. Foxy the fox. Create rock textures. An interview with Shane Pierce. What a beautiful one this is. Look at that. Imagine playing a video game with like those sort of graphics. Imagine if a massive open world where you could explore. Like a Skyrim. Imagine if Skyrim looked like that. Brilliant. I wonder what the next Skyrim's going to look like. Probably going to be incredible. Can't really imagine that, I don't think. Creative still lives. Oh, I'm really enjoying this one. So we've got a nice mix of stuff. Create a digital map painting. Out, like you'd almost think that isn't real, like it's not, it's, it's crazy. Paint sci fi locations that's nice. Paint an interior scene, really liking the color purple today. It's quite oh, I love this one. Phil McDarby, same look. Ooh. Yeah, I'd look into this artist, I think. Oh, I like that. Look, little tree. Big trees looking after a little tree. Create a fantastic, futuristic city. Yeah, I do not want to live in a world like that. Look, there's no nature anywhere in that scene. Not a single tree. I like some trees, I do. Love that. Look at this, look. Cheap guy for combining colours. That's amazing, that. Right? Creating a map painting. Film FX, that's like Avatar, isn't it? Professional artists offer advice on how to create commercial standard design in the fast paced film industry. Avatar. Cool. <laughs> look at that, look. Robots in the real world. Big robots. Hey, look at him, look, little piggy. Little piggy. Weird. Digital artist. I've never heard of that magazine before. That's quite weird. Digital artist. I've never heard of that magazine. Look, three issues for a quid. I wonder if that magazine's still going. I bet it's not. I ain't, I've never heard of that, I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen it. And then we got our little DVD. So, hey, look, it's got references. I like that. So I'm going to have a look at the DVD now. Little Peter's going <laughs> to go and help us with that. And then we'll, well, see what, let's have a look and see what's on the DVD. So here's the CD for this one. 
we've got a little bloke here called Tom, Tom Rudderham. Little Tom Rudderham is guiding us through this one. Very nicely put together menu, I think. I like that. So again, we've got the websites across the bottom. Podcasts, which is cool. So you've got some little podcasts you can look into. And then we've also got, we've got tutorial files, speed painting, reference photos, Photoshop brushes, sci-fi textures, digital artists, <laughs> and podcasts. Oh, that's the same thing there. Digital artists. Ah, oh, this is their magazine, look. Yeah, I'm going to see if this is still going. I wonder if this is still going. This digital artist magazine. Also, look, it opens up in... What's it called? Internet Explorer. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think that website is going anymore. Oh, I hate it when it does that. This is another thing I don't like about... What's it called? So that's that. I don't know if that's working anymore. We've got all our little brushes. Sci-fi brushes. Circuit board textures. That's interesting. I don't remember seeing, seeing that in the... Oh, I love, I love textures. I've got a thing for textures. Yeah, think about textures. I like it. That's beautiful, isn't it? That is like a piece of work of art, that. Yeah, the way nature and stuff works is so cool. Stained concrete textures. What's this all about? Looks like a universe. Looks like a solar system or something. <laughs> quite mad that. So that was the textures. Photoshop brushes. Oh this is a beautiful menu system. I would have to say this menu is much more sexy than the Imagine FX menus. So these are your little Photoshop brushes. Oh cool. Cosmic, oh, you can't, I'm not going <laughs> to, flowers, this would be nice, I think. Little flower brushes, look, cool. If you can hear anyone going to the toilet, it's because I live in a shared house, <laughs> and my room's right next to the toilet. Oh, these are cool. I really like these. Yeah, they're fun. Fun little brushes. I'm not going to do that one. That's our little brushes. Reference photos. Hey, we've got um, we've got what do you call it? Human poses. <laughs> He's got a cool outfit on, isn't he? Look at that face, look. <laughs> he re He's really got into that, isn't he? He's enjoying himself, I think. Nice bum. Hee. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Nice twist to his body. And the other one is uh, kneeling. Cool. Yeah, they do this on the Imagine FX magazines. What they do is they like turn humans into like figurines by rotating the camera. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Oh, I wish there was more of these. I wonder if there is a CD or something you can get with loads of these on. Oh, I'd love that. Speed painting. 15 minute speed painting by the artist Denman Rocket. Denman Rocket Robin Hood. What's he look like? I don't remember seeing that in the magazine. Robin Hood. Oh, there's no audio. It's disappointing. That's weird, isn't it? He didn't even start with a gesture. He hasn't even done a gesture. It's a bit right. It's a bit weird that I would have gone with a. I would have worked out the flow of it first. Cool, I like watching stuff like that. 
this is very much like Dragon's Dogma, this one. Because in Dragon's Dogma, there's a, you can buy, you can, um, what do you call it, find a, a hat just like that. So your character walks around with a, like a, a wolf on its, on its head. Dragon's Dogma is amazing. Uh, a bit disappointing because on the first on volume one all the speed paintings had audio 22 sets of tutorial files fairy art look yeah it's all going to be in separate folders all right here we've got some brushes what have we got here oh uh, uh, yay we got the we got the line art for this one Cool. I like that. I love this one actually. Cool. I'm happy with that. We've got brushes as well. Fantasy painting. Foliage. I like foliage. Oh, we've got a sketch. Yeah. Oh, yes. I love this one. We've got the sketch of it. I've got to say, these DVDs are. are um, exciting me more than the Imagine FX ones. What's this here? Look, flare layer two. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a bit weird. That fantasy lighting, brushes, photo references. Oh, I like this one. This was the one where it had the blue air. Oh cool, we got the, hang on a minute, let's do something. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Cool. See, you can play around with that now. Put, put your own colours on it and stuff. That's why I like getting the, hey, I like that little, that's probably their, um, that might be their, what do you call it, signature or something. Fantasy photo manipulation, fantasy painting. What's this? I wonder. Ah, oh, that's the one like the storybook. It's quite cool. It's not my favourite image in the magazine though. Palette knives. Hey, we've got a little sketch again. Ah, oh, cool. We're gonna have the the brushes there. We're going to have the palette knife brushes because that one, I love the textures on that one. Yeah, we're going to get, that'll be quite fun. What's this here? Create a concept character. <laughs> I think that was the, oh yeah, that was the one that looked a bit sassy. Space scape. Speed painting, fantasy environment. I don't know what this is? That's nice. Really nice textures on that. This is again why I like the um, having the actual files. You can zoom in on it and stuff. You can also play around with the layers. I wonder what they've done here. Take that way. Look at that. Look. I love doing stuff like that. See, that to me looks quite beautiful, that. What happens if you do this? <laughs> yeah, I love doing, playing around with things. Comic book, this would be cool. Oh, it's not as good as I thought it would be, that one. Fairy art. Yay, another little... Oh, brilliant. Oh, I love that hat. Yeah. Lots of um, exciting things on this. Look at that. Look. To me, that looked like a little man running forwards. Tarragon Photoshop. What's this one? I'm enjoying this CD. Fantasy lighting. This was the one with a hey, little fox. 
creative still life. Original sketches, look. Let's have a look at this. Flowers. Hey, I don't remember that one. They're, it's like they're um, inside of the flowers. Little fairies or something. What have we got here? Digital composition. Got loads of stuff in this one. Oh, there's that one where they stuck all the things. Futuristic city. Work in progress. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100 on. Cool. I like clouds. And then finish with this. Yeah, we've got initial sketch. Oh, now that's nice. That's cool. I would have left it like that. See, that's, oh, I love sort of um, chalky, chunky brush strokes. Something about it makes me happy. That's basically the CD though. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> so that's the end of that. I hope you enjoyed that. I absolutely love that. It's got to be one of my favourites. I feel like that's one of my favourites. Just like lots of really nice stuff in here. Yeah, beautiful. Different types of styles and stuff. Hope you enjoyed that. It was a fantasy art volume two. I'm gonna go and have a look and see if there's any more of these. They're brilliant.